Good morning everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out here by the shop today. We've cleared out a new patch here. We're going to put our potatoes here by the shop. Uh, some of our potatoes, not all of them. Our fingerling, this is going to be our fingerling garden right here. Guys, the weather has been wacky this year. We go from 80 degrees to 20 degrees. I mean, it just keeps fluctuating back and forth. Normally we have our potatoes in the ground by now, but because of the wacky weather we haven't had a chance if it's either too cold too wet too hot i mean it's just always something going on well today we it rained two days ago because this ground is real sandy we was able to get in here this morning till it hook the plow up and we'll show you that here you can see the plow running through here how fast it, it didn't take two seconds to do it but literally we got it done now we're going to take the horse double wheel hoe with the middle splitting plows on it here like this we have them set up where they bust a row open as you can see there this is one of the handiest tools to have we've found and you ask i know you're going to ask why are we doing it this away well there's reasons guys i've had years and years of experience at doing this and there's just an inside intuition in me that's telling me that we're going to have extremely cold and extremely wet weather coming so what we're doing is we went ahead and we mounted this up in high beds we're going to be planting our fingerlings up out of the ground up on top of these beds but we're going to take the horse double wheel hoe we're going to open the top of that bed up and put those potatoes in there and then we're going to cover it back up and guys hopefully that way our potatoes won't be down in the wet dirt if it rains a lot. And I could be wrong, but if it rains a lot, then the potatoes will be up on a bed and hopefully they'll still produce. And if it stays extremely cold with them being up on a bed, maybe the sun will warm the ground a little bit more and we won't uh, actually run the risk of losing them uh, to cold or something. Because if they pop through the ground, we can always clip them off until it warms up enough. The guys in the deep south, we have to have our potatoes in early because by May, it's just too hot. They have to be harvested by May. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't take this double wheel hoe and get this row opened up, get our potatoes in the ground, and get them covered back up.
guys, this is the beauty of hand-operated tools. You can still work, even though the ground is wet, and you have the ability, if you don't have any fuel, you can work your garden. Go check out Hoss Tool. We have a link down below in the description. Check out their tools. Guys, they're amazing. Alright guys, one of the things we like about our Hoss bucket makes it easy to carry stuff. We don't have the, you know, we're, we're, we have both hands are free. We don't have to worry with stuff. And I'm just, take these potatoes, I'm just going to drop them down in here. In the past, we planted our potatoes about 16 to 18 inches apart. This year, I'm going to plant my fingerlings about 12 inches apart because I feel like we're wasting ground. I believe we can get more potatoes in a smaller area than what we've been doing. And the old thing about you got to have the eyes pointing up, guys. I do that on the big Irish potatoes, but these potatoes, they got eyes all the way around them everywhere, so I'm really not worried about the pangolins. And these potatoes cured out real well. They, uh, Done a lot better than we thought. Now these are the white Russian fingerling potatoes. We ordered these from a company off of, uh, I think it was off of Amazon, because we were kind of panicky that we might not get any seed potatoes this year. But luckily, Hoss Tool was able to get seed potatoes through them later. They should be coming in here in the next week, and hopefully we're going to be able to get all of them, because we got every variety they had just to see which ones will work the best here at the Deep South Homestead? So with this particular potato right here, this will give us Hoss Tool. We've got eight varieties coming from Hoss Tool. This is a ninth variety, plus our own potatoes here at Deep South Homestead that we keep saving is 10 varieties of potatoes we're going to be planting this year. And after this year, we should know which one is going to perform the best. I'm going to take the regular old garden rake here and uh, cover them up because I'm trying to make a high mound. I could use the uh, high arch double wheel hoe with my two plows that beds up on it that I use to plow around my small plants with. But we're going to take the rake because we're kind of wanting to round up a big high bed here. Uh, simply because this is just really sandy and it's kind of hard to push that other one on top of this bed like it is. And it's not that much, it's just two rows here. So we're going to do it the off-grid way, guys. Another thing I wanted to mention is this year we're planting our rows of potatoes really close together because, guys, we have so many potatoes coming. We only have a limited amount of space to plant them. And instead of going with four foot wide rows or three foot wide rows, we're going with two foot wide rows in between them. Hopefully, that way the potatoes will grow and cover from row to row and we won't have a weed problem. We're able to get more potatoes in a smaller amount of area because with the potato collapse that we had this past year, we're just a little concerned that it might be even worse this year. So we're planting an extra amount of potatoes this year just in case there's a failure of some kind on some of the different breeds.
I'm not as young as I used to be. I still get tired when I rake. We have two rows here, 70 feet long. We had four pounds of fingerling potatoes that we cut up. So four pounds planted two rows, 70 feet long. So stay with us this year. Now let's see how many potatoes we harvest off of four pounds of the white Russian or Russian white, whichever one you want to call them, fingerling potatoes. And let's just see what we get out of them this year. Let's see if, if they are productive or if one of the other varieties that we're going to be getting from Hoss Tool is more productive than these. It's an experiment this year, guys, just to see, going into the solar minimum, which potato does best at the deep south under cold conditions. And guys, Travis from Hoss Tool is going to be coming to our gathering. So guys, if you want to meet Travis, then come to the gathering. And at the gathering, Travis is going to have one of the single wheel hoss hose. Um, not the double wheel like I had, but he's going to have one of the single wheel ones there. Is going to be a giveaway at Deep South Homestead. So one lucky person from the gathering will go home with a wheel hoe from Hoss Tool. Come check out the gathering, 2020, March the 21st, Westside Magnolia Community Center, Perkingston, Mississippi. And guys, go over to Eventbrite and get your tickets. They're free. Uh, there'll be some drawings and some giveaways with the tickets and stuff like that. There'll be door prizes, and we've got some really nice prizes this year, guys. But the only there's going to be a few stipulations this year when you come to the gathering. Not all the kids and stuff like that are going to be able to put their names in the pots because a lot of the stuff that we're going to be giving away is going to be stuff that's expensive stuff for adults to use on the homestead. And we want to make sure that the right products get into hands that will use them. So just remember when you come to the gathering... There's going to be some rules about putting names in hats and stuff like that at different th different prizes. It's not about getting the most number of names in a hat just so you can win it. It's about being fair. And that's what we want to do this year at the gathering. We want to make sure we're fair and that everybody stands a good chance of taking home a product that they will actually use. Because we would hate to see someone take a product home and it just sit on a shelf or in a shed. And they don't even have a place to use it. So we want to make sure that we get the right products in the right hands this year, guys. So stay with us. We've got potatoes planted, the first crop for Deep South Homestead. We're going to be getting English peas in next. And we got a lot more potatoes to plant, guys. So stay with us. Watch the progress. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.